Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, in this lesson, we'll be discussing the two different types of sentences in the Arabic language. So in the Arabic language, we have two types of sentences. A jumlatun ismiya, which is the nominal sentence, or a jumlatun fa'aniya, which is the verbal sentence. The nominal sentence is a sentence that begins with a ism. A ism is a noun. For example, al-baytu jamirun. Al-baytu is a noun, which means the house. And it begins the sentence, so this is the nominal sentence. On the other hand, Junmatun Fa'aniya, a verbal sentence, is a sentence that begins with a fa'al, with a verb. For example, Dhahaba Muhammadun, which would be translated as Muhammad went. So Dhahaba is a verb, and it's beginning the sentence, so this is a verbal sentence. Now, each and every single one of these two are made up of two things always, which I'm going to explain in a second. The nominal sentence is made up of two parts. When we look at the sentence al baytu jamilun, which means the house is beautiful, we already covered that it's a nominal sentence because al bayt is a noun and it begins a sentence. Now a nominal sentence is always made up of two parts. Al baytu, which is a mubtada, al jamilun or jamilun, which is a khabar. So any single nominal sentence is going to be made up of the subject, which is the mubtada, and the khabar, which is a predicate. The mubtada is a thing or person that's being described, while the khabar is the information that is describing the subject. So here when I say the house is beautiful, what is the thing that's being described? al baytu, And what is the thing that's describing it? What's the information that's describing it? Jamilun, beautiful. Now please note that the mubtada and the khabar are always marfu', which means that they will always, always end with a dhamma. So it would be wrong for me to say al bayti jamila or al bayta jamili. It must be al baytu jamilun with a dhamma at the end. So that is the nominal sentence. The verbal sentence is also likewise made up of two parts. When I say dhahaba muhammadun, which means Muhammad went, first and foremost, we need to note and understand that in Arabic, the verb comes first. So Muhammad went in Arabic would be translated verbatimly as went Muhammad. Because dhahab is the verb, while Muhammad is the one doing the action. So in Arabic, the verb is going to come first, dhahaba, then the person who did the action, Muhammad, unlike in English, where Muhammad comes first. But dhahaba Muhammadun is always made up of two parts, or a verbal sentence is always made up of two parts, dhahaba here being the fa'in, the verb, which is one of the two parts, Muhammad being the fa'in, which is the other part. The fa'in is the doer of the verb, the doer of the action. Likewise, the fa'in will always be marfu', will always end with a dhamma. So it would be wrong for me to say dhahaba muhammadin or dhahaba muhammadan. It must be dhahaba muhammadun. And this is a brief explanation of the two types of sentences in the Arabic language.